I need someone to take away my access to TikTok because the amount of sad animal videos I've seen on there recently is just, it's destroyed me. But hello, welcome back to another vlog. This is vlog number five, six that I've tried to start within the past few weeks. Um, so we'll see if this one ever sees the light of day because all the other ones haven't. But I'm finally past, uh, I just realized I don't have any rings on right now. Uh, finally, past a pretty difficult time for my family and we're kind of coming back to um, a norm, so to say. The last few weeks, pretty much all of March has been kind of difficult for my family. I've been spending a lot of time with family, spending a lot of time just reflecting on things, spending a lot of times like getting back to things that I pushed to the side, like working out. I've started working out again, which is fantastic. No one told me that working out could make you happy. I feel like that's a great marketing method. <laughs> no, but seriously, I uh, started going to the gym again. Um, started riding the Peloton again that I've had since pandemic and I've only used a handful of times. Really should use that more. It's just been a weird few weeks. Like a little bit of context. My stepfather's mother passed away two weeks ago. So I guess technically that would be my step-grandmother. Passed away a few weeks ago, and then within that same week, my maternal grandmother suffered a stroke. And so it's just been a very rough time for my family, I guess is the only way to put it. And so during this time, I was like, let me regain some focus on things. So I haven't streamed on Twitch. Am I allowed to say Twitch on YouTube? I don't know if YouTube like hears me say that word and it's like, oh, rivals. Like, you know, <laughs> um, but I haven't streamed in general um, for the past like two weeks or so. I decided to take that time off so I could be present with family as well as refocus on some things like working out again. Um, I was hoping that it would give me some refocus to record and edit YouTube videos, but it's just been such a tiring time that I haven't gotten to that point yet, but I'm hoping come this weekend because today is March, what is today? Thursday, March 21st. Yesterday was the first day of spring. I'm hoping that once this weekend comes, now that funeral stuff is all past us, that uh, I can kind of get back on track for things. I don't know, the blues are kind of getting to me these days. So I'm hoping to get out of that. I will say the nice weather is helping. However, the fluctuating temperature is not. Can it just be warm? Just be warm and stay warm. I do like the lighter later though. Yeah, what can I catch y'all up on? Finished week five of my cosmetic tattooing classes this past week, this coming weekend, so tomorrow and Saturday, I actually don't have to go into class. Like I don't have to drive an hour to class this weekend because our instructor is at a conference, I believe. We still have to do class, but it's like you do assignments at home and then submit them, but I don't actually have to drive anywhere this weekend, which is kind of nice considering I've been doing a lot of driving for funeral arrangements and stuff like that for the past two weeks. So there's that, which is pretty cool. I have not read a whole lot this month. This is going to be a very low reading month for me, like maybe four books, maybe. That might be pushing it. I mean, there's not really much else I can think to catch y'all up on. My hormonal acne is looking a bit better, like this side especially is starting to look a bit better, which is great. This side is still a little meh, but I think that might be <laughs> also stress from the past like two weeks. I do have a pimple patch on one right now, which I never realized how exactly pimple patches work. I always thought that the white stuff that you saw was pus. It's not, it's just like all the extra moisture that gets caught onto the patch and pulled up. And then it also acts as just like a barrier for any active pimples to make sure that no more bacteria gets in there. I'm like, oh, I always thought it was so satisfying. Cause I'm like, look at that pus come off, but that's not actually what it is. I'm like, oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> but yeah, Luke and I went to the gym this morning. Luke has gone to run some errands right now, which one of those errands includes taking you can't see it from this angle, but when I decluttered my bookshelves, all of the books are still like off to the side behind me. And so he takes the books to donate 
to places. I don't know where exactly he goes to, but he's gone to donate some books right now. He's taking them in like little increments because it's a lot of books. It's a lot because I'm one of those people that I can declutter, but I can't be the one to like take the donations because then I'll be like, oh, I should keep that though. And then nothing will ever get donated. So that's his task. But yeah, so I was gonna take a nap, but I'm tired, but I'm not sleepy. Does that make sense? So like I'm having a hard time actually falling asleep. So I think instead I will edit a video that I've been putting off for a while. It's Thursday. I recorded this video on Sunday. So maybe I should do that. It's a nice day today. Could always, well, it's only 52. It's chilly again. Can I have the 70 degree weather back? But yeah, that's catching y'all up with how things are going right now. It's just been a difficult time for my family. Um, a bright note, we did book a cruise within the past like 24 hours. So that was cool. It's like a weekend cruise that I believe goes out from like Miami and it's only like three nights. So like that's a perfect amount of cruise for me personally. I've only been on two cruises in my life. I'm not a huge fan of the lengthy ones, but then we heard about these like weekend ones with Royal Caribbean. We're gonna do that later this year and my mom and stepdad are gonna join us. They're gonna have their own space obviously and then we're gonna have our own space but we're gonna go together which is pretty fun and exciting. So that's something to look forward to. I feel like there's stuff that I have like that I should just like update y'all on but I don't know what. It's just like so much has happened within the past few weeks that everything starts to blur together. Yeah, this month is gonna be lacking for books. I was just looking back and I'm like, oh, it's gonna be so bad. Like I was doing really good with like eight books a month. This month I think is gonna be four, <laughs> so half. But hopefully I can catch back up in April. But I think I'm gonna edit this video now because I need to do that. I just need to stop procrastinating and do it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's just a, it's a, it's not even like a complicated video. It's just like a little sit down, catch up Q and A video. So it shouldn't take me that long. It's just doing it. Hello, it is a Saturday, March 23rd. How are we doing today? Trying really hard not to throw away this vlog because I just feel like it's another failed vlog, but I'm gonna try really hard to make sure that it's not. But it is Saturday and as you saw from, I don't remember if I talked at all yesterday, but I did record some things yesterday. I don't know if I talked at all, but yesterday, was Friday, today's Saturday. Normally I would be at my PMU class right now, but our instructor is away at a conference. I feel like I talked yesterday because I feel like I've said this, but it is Saturday, which means I have more work that I'm doing. We only had three parts today, whereas yesterday was four. So today's assignments we had to, and I'm still working on this one. I finished part two and part three, right? Okay, I was just making sure that there were only three parts. I was about to be like, panic. But we have three parts for today. We have pigment selection, service menu, and aftercare education. I have already finished service menu and aftercare education and I'm currently working on pigment selection. Basically we have to write a research paper that's at least one page where we talk about organic and organic and inorganic pigments and then talk about a brand of pigments that we feel like we might use once we start doing cosmetic tattooing. So I'm still in the process of that. I'm pretty much done. I just need to kind of finalize it. But I thought I would come on here and chat a little bit. I just got an order from Amazon. I got some good old probiotics so I can get that gut health back in check. And I got new slippers. They're cute, right? A little checkered, they match my 
my bands. I thought that was kind of fun. So I got some new slippers. And then yesterday from Amazon, I got a mug warmer for my desk because when I stream, once I get back into it, when I stream, I'll have coffee and then it cools down so fast and I like hot coffee. I know, I know. I feel like everyone likes iced coffee. I'm over here drinking hot coffee. So I got a mug warmer, tried it out this morning, it actually works really well. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, almost done with this, just researching a brand that I really think I'm gonna like for, for cosmetic tattooing. But I had gotten these, Luke and I had gotten these on Sunday, so it's been almost a week. They are freeze-dried candy pieces. So I thought I'd try them, because I haven't opened them yet. And so you have sour snakes, which is essentially gummy worms, and then you have cookies and cream ice cream bites. So I thought I would try these, just for the heck of it because I've never tried freeze-dried candy. The only freeze-dried thing I've ever tried is like the ice cream sandwiches, like the astronaut food. So I thought I would try one. I gotta find my favorite. Okay, when it comes to gummy worms, my favorite combination is the green and orange gummy worm. But yeah, that's, that's a freeze-dried gummy worm. It says sour snakes, because I think for trademark purposes, but it's like, with the gummy worm, you just pop one in your mouth and you get both flavors. But how are you supposed to do this? Because it's so massive. Oh, that hurts my teeth. It likes it, makes it more sweet than normal. I like it though. I like the crunch to it. But now it's like stuck on my teeth even worse than gummy worms actually are. That's good though. I do like that. And so then, like I said, I've tried like astronaut food before and so I've had ice cream sandwiches. But cookies and cream ice cream is some of my favorite kind. No butcher and blackbird did not ruin it for me. But yeah, so this is freeze dried cookies and cream ice cream bites. They look like meringues. That's essentially what that is. Cookies and cream meringue. It's actually really good. I like this one because it's almost muted. You definitely get the cookie because that's like in there. I'm not sure how much you could freeze dry an Oreo, but the actual ice cream part, that's really good. Freeze dried cookies and cream ice cream bites and freeze dried gummy worms. I like this one more. I mean, I know they're vastly different things, but I like this one more. I'm gonna do another one actually. They had like a deal for where it was like three for 25 or something. And the place where we got these, the guy at that little like cellar stand, whatever, exhibit, exhibit, exhibit? You know what I mean? The guy that was like sold us these, he said to me, he was like, you look really familiar. And I was like, oh, and he was like, do you make videos on YouTube about Pearson's? And I'm like, maybe. So that was kind of cool. I rarely get noticed out in public for YouTube videos. Retro Rewind Pops is the name of um, the company. Retro Rewind Pops. So hey, if you watch this, thanks for making my day <laughs> at GalaxyCon. I put them away, otherwise I'm going to eat all of these. Just been working on some things for class, like a service menu, an aftercare little card. I like how everything turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. It was really weird though, set in prices. So what I ended up doing is like looking at cosmetic tattooers in the area and what they charge. Now, some of these people have been, in, you know, doing this for like five plus years, 10 plus years. So obviously they can charge the big bucks, but I'm over here going like, I ain't even done anyone yet. So like, I didn't want to undersell myself. And this is just like a little practice thing. So who's to say that these prices may change? They may go higher, they may go lower. I don't know. So that took up a lot more time than I anticipated. I'm like, I, don't know what to charge. Like I know I need to know my worth, know my value, think about the resources that go into it, think about the time that goes into it and all that kind of stuff. That was just, that took a lot more time than I anticipated. So the only thing I have left to do is this pigment thing where I have to write a paper, it has to be at least a page in length. She didn't specify it need, if it needed to be single or double space. Like right now it's over a page double space. 
The one that I did yesterday, I double spaced it and she said it looked great. So I'm like, all right, I'll double space it again. But am I in focus? I can't tell because my glasses are kind of dirty. And by kinda, I mean a lot. I can't see shit now. So yeah, just gonna finish up with this assignment and that'll be done. And then I might try listening to my audiobook. So, you know, I have been, we have a book club and our first book club read, for those that don't know, it's in the description below. For our first book club read, we're doing The Serpent and the Wings of Night. Well, this month has just been an absolute shit show to be honest. My mind has been all over the place and not very present. So I am only on like chapter nine. I'm not very far into this book and I wanted to annotate this book. Well, that wasn't going anywhere. So then I tried to read it on Kindle and I could not focus. So now I got the audiobook, and I need to finish it before the month ends because how awful would that be for me to be head of a book club and I can't even finish the first book that we pick. I think I can make moderators now on Fable, which is cool. So I might ask some people that I trust if they'd be willing to be moderators. So I think I might listen to that after I finish with my homework and then playing some games with friends tonight. I will say, let me let me talk about an audiobook real fast because I, again, I've started so many vlogs at this point that I don't know what I've kept and what I haven't. There is an app called Libro. I got like the influencer route or whatever so I can get up to like 10 free audiobooks a month to listen to that are like specifically put out for that month. So I listened to one recently called Happily Never After by Lynn Painter and it was so cute. I actually wrote a review about it on Goodreads just so I could put it out there and be like, hey, thanks to Libro for, you know, allowing me the chance to listen to this book. And it was so cute. It was a very, very cute romance book. I think I gave it a three out of five just because there were some things. It was cutesy. Had a hard time connecting with the characters. I, honestly, I could not tell you their names now. It was a romance. I said that I wish there had been more tension. If you if you don't follow me on Goodreads, follow me on Goodreads. Uh, I don't write reviews often, but if it's like gifted to me or like something like that, or if I get it for free courtesy of something, then I'll write a review for it. Like if I just get it on my own, then I probably won't. But um, but it was a it was a cute rom com type of thing. So yeah, follow me on Goodreads. I need to finish this assignment because it's got to be turned in by 9 p.m. tonight. It's currently 4 p.m. So like I've, I've got five hours, but I don't wanna be going till 9 p.m. writing it. So I need to finish up with it so I can submit it and then I can have the rest of my weekend free. Try and do something to try and be productive because this past week has not been a productive time. It's been a lot. Oh, also I got new stickers for my Kindle. So maybe I'll record a little snippet of me putting new stickers on, stickers, stickers on my Kindle. Like look at this. Okay, and then I'll go back to my work. Look at this sticker. Focus, show the sticker, show the sticker. There it is. Look at that. It's the Akatar series. I still haven't read Silver Flames. I wanted to read that this month and it just didn't happen because I thought February was bad. Nope. Nope. March was just like, watch me. So, okay, back to work. Good morning, almost afternoon. It is Sunday, March 24th. And I just got done kind of cleaning and organizing and stuff like that around the house. Um, finally like moved some bins in our bedroom that needed to be gone a long time ago. Cleaned some stuff up on the kitchen island because that's become a catch-all for things just getting tossed there. Washed my hair finally after like almost a week. Actually, it was probably over a week 
since I last washed it. I try not to wash it too often. Since I don't have the red hair anymore, I feel like I don't have to do it or like keeping the color from fading. Sorry, I just like zoned out for a second. But I'm very tired right now, so I'm gonna sit for a little bit and eat some lunch. I'm gonna have some chicken salad from, it says Ucrops, it's Ucrops brand, but I got it at Wegmans and then some pita chips with it. Uh, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. Probably read, cause I really need to read this book that I've been reading for an entire month now. It's gonna be a very, I think I'm gonna have four books read this month when January and February I was doing like what, six and eight? What did I do in February? I feel like I did seven or eight in February and then I did six in January. So like, I guess it's not that bad. Still a book a week, technically. Gotta get back. Gotta, gotta get rolling with it again. I'm also supposed to stream again tomorrow for the first time in over two weeks. And I gotta be honest, I don't know if I want to. Like I want to, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know if I want to. Like I still love chatting with people and everything like that, but I don't know if I really want to to keep up with Twitch. Now it's not to say that I couldn't stream like here on YouTube. I'd, I'd be fine with that, but that way it wouldn't be so much scheduled every single week. You know, like Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays are my stream days. Can't do anything during these times. At least with YouTube, I could just be like, hey guys, I plan to stream like tomorrow. And it would just be like a pop-up. I don't know. Like it makes me sound very selfish and like I don't appreciate what comes with streaming because a lot of you all have come over to Twitch when I stream and I appreciate that immensely and I love getting to chat with y'all but there's something about my mindset when it comes to Twitch. I don't have that same mindset on any other social media platform so I'm like do I cut out the one that's causing me mental health struggles? I've if that makes any kind of sense. I don't know. Yeah, that's where I am currently. So I guess we'll see tomorrow what I decide to do. But for now, I'm gonna sit on the sofa and eat this chicken salad and watch some Fruits Basket because I'm really enjoying the like new series, even though it was 2019. But yeah, it is the dub version. I would have preferred the sub version. I don't know if Hulu has the sub version. I'm dealing with English voice actors, which isn't bad. It's not the end of the world. And some things are very similar to the original like 2001 series, but I like where they're going with 2019s. I think I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna read and maybe take a nap because I'm kind of tired. Good morning, almost afternoon. It is Tuesday the 26th and I was planning to end this vlog yesterday, but I guess I'll keep it going until maybe Thursday. I don't remember when I started this vlog now. I might do a week long vlog or something. I don't know. Cause I have stuff going on today, tomorrow and Thursday. So, Maybe I'll just keep it going. Why am I still buckled on park? Maybe I'll just keep it going uh, for the next few days and it'll just be a longer vlog. Or maybe it's not as long as I'm thinking it is in my head. But anyway, it's Tuesday the 26th and I am currently in the parking lot of where I get my hair done. We're changing things up today. My God, that woman wants to get to Taco Bell really fucking fast. Girl just like blew through this parking lot. Taco Bell's good, but it ain't that good. We're going more blonde today. This is gonna stay kind of dark in my roots, but then we're gonna lighten this up. I mean, it's lightened a pretty good amount, but we're also gonna make it a little bit more cool toned, I hope. That's, that's my hope because I am a cool toned person. Person, I think in my my cosmetic tattooing class when I said that I thought I was a cool toned person Everyone paused for a minute and they're like, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, no, no, my veins are blue I think unless I can't tell my colors. So yeah, I want a more cool tone because my hair right now is definitely Warm toned hair appointment today. I am seeing a friend tonight for dinner. Name is Danny. Danny was in my wedding He was in my bridal party and we're gonna get some dinner tonight and catch up tomorrow <laughs> I have my gynecologist appointment. How fun I'm like a year and a half late on that. Well, no, it's not a year and a half. It's a half a year. I was supposed to go back in August. Well, I guess that means it is a year and a half late. Nor is it six months late. I don't know. I was supposed to go in August 2023. And it is now March 2024. Whatever. But yeah, I have that tomorrow. And then Thursday, kind of exciting. Luke and I are doing a walkthrough for a house. We found this development kind of sort of nearby and we really like the look of it. We like the location of it. You build a house. We're gonna do a walkthrough. We're gonna hit up our realtor from 2022 when we originally started looking at houses. And she's gonna come down and 
be with us through the walkthrough and stuff like that and talk about the properties and so there could be some moving in the future it probably wouldn't be for like a year because this is a brand new development and they already have a bunch of houses that have been sold but haven't been started yet so it's one of those things where it's like it could be a while that's pretty exciting and that's happening on thursday i'm just sitting in the car now eating some chips before going to my appointment because i don't know how long my appointment's going to take so i've been 50 appointments at 12 i'll go in like five minutes so that's today so this is my current state of my hair it's very warm toned but you can see blonde trying to come through thank god i kind of miss my blonde but yeah we're gonna lighten this up it's done a pretty good job of lightening itself this is the current state of my hair and I'll show you the after. Good morning. It is Wednesday, March 27th. Obviously this vlog at this point is gonna become a week in my life vlog because I'm pretty sure it was like a week ago, tomorrow or Friday that I started this vlog. So it's just gonna be a week in my life vlog. I'm looking a little rough this morning, but it is so early. It's 9.09. .09. I'm already at the place for my gynecologist appointment. Whoa, can't wait for them to be wrist deep while asking me how I'm doing. It's always fun, isn't it? I'm feeling very, very anxious. I've expressed it before. I, I don't have a very healthy relationship with scales, my weight, my body. And honestly, like full transparency, it's gotten worse since I've had weight loss surgery. Like it, it's never been stupendous. Like I'd always get made fun of when I was a child, for my weight but then even after losing over 120 pounds that didn't change my relationship with my body or my weight so when they say that losing weight and being skinny doesn't fix things they're not lying they're not lying now i will say i did often experience pretty privilege once i lost the weight Th that was that was definitely something that was prevalent when i was at my smallest i haven't been on a scale now since probably my last gynecologist appointment which was august 2022 and i'm pretty sure that was the last time i was on a scale because even then i was freaking out about what the number was gonna say and then being like so surprised i was like oh it's not as bad as i thought and now i'm like sitting here going like wow i wish i could be that weight again so i do hope that i can have like a discussion with my gynecologist this is my first time meeting this one i've had the same one for the past like three four years and i needed a change because she was pushing the birth control arm insert too much and I it made me uncomfortable so I was like let me let me try someone new I liked her bio that they had online for her and there you know there's a matter of things I want to discuss you know I want to talk about how I went off birth control almost a year ago it was last April that I went off of it and how I've gained weight from it and how my hormonal acne like has popped back up also by the way this is my hair. I, I didn't record anything yesterday after I got it done. So we're getting there on the blonde. Anyway, sorry, ADHD moment. And then I want to bring up, you know, children. It's, it's still new to me that that's like something we're discussing now. Like I'm at that point where I'm like, yeah, I want kids. So there's a lot of things that I want to talk about with her today after she looks at everything. I'm trying to decide what to do about the scale because I know when you go to a doctor's office you can say hey I don't want to be weighed which I'm thinking about but at the same time I'm like it's been a year and a half they probably need some kind of record so it might be more a case of I'm just like look you can weigh me but don't tell me what the number is, you know? And they'll have to put it on the patient portal. So either I ignore the patient portal or I just suck it up. And I'm like, well, there it is. We'll see how this goes. Let me make sure I smell good. I'm always afraid that even though I know I don't smell bad, I'm gonna go in now because I want you to be there 15 minutes early to just go over things. And I do have to give them my new insurance. So wish me luck because I'm gonna need it. Hello, I am back from my appointment, which me telling them I 
have a bad relationship with the scale went about as well as I as I anticipated. I got emotional because when don't I? Basically we got into the room and the girl that was like taking my vitals was like, I'm gonna get your weight now. And I'm like, um, I'm gonna preface this by saying that I have a really unhealthy relationship with scales and weights. And I haven't been on the scale since my last appointment here. So it's been like a year and a half. And she's like, you can step on it backwards. So I did get on the scale. It was not fun, but I got on it and I don't know the number. So I at least got on it. That was also probably the fastest appointment I've ever had there before. Like my appointment was at 9.30 and I was back in my car by 9.39. So that was wild. She did ask, you know, asked all the generic questions like, are you sexually active? Are you trying to become pregnant? Are you blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. So she did give me this, cause I said that we've been talking about it. And when I say talking about it, I mean within the last like three weeks, it's been like brought up and I'm like, you know, I'm actually in a place right now where I'd be good <laughs> with it. And then she was like, you should start taking a prenatal. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's pump the brakes on that one. I went to Walgreens afterwards because I want to make like a little Easter basket for Luke who I just missed when I came home. He was pulling out of our like neighborhood when I was coming in because he has a hair appointment. So. He's on his way to that and that's why he's not here right now, which is good because I can show y'all what's in his Easter basket. Went to Walgreens and just got him, you know, a little Easter basket. This is like, it's as green as I could get. That's his favorite color is green. So I got him a green Easter basket and it's small. I didn't, you know, want to get anything over the top or massive, but got the little Easter basket, got the little paper grass, which is green, so made that look like grass. And then I don't think I want to put it together yet. His favorite candy is Reese's. So I got him a Reese's bunny and he also likes Cadbury cream eggs. So I got him a little pack of four and then I got him some Reese's eggs. So we've got Cadbury cream eggs, got Reese's eggs, and then we have a Reese's bunny. Picture that with the grass in it. Like pop, there we go. Um, so I got him a little Easter basket. I've also been trying to like grow my nails out, but I like some fun nails every so often so i found these two like look at these how precious and that's a good length like they're not super long so i feel like i could still function and then these are super cute too with the little strawberries if it'll focus and like all the tips are different colored i don't know i thought they were cute figured i'll put them on after my class on friday because you don't really want super long nails but those aren't very long so like i feel like it would still be fine uh i am gonna fix something to eat because i'm hungry and then i think i'm gonna read because it is very rainy today it's very cold today i'm back in a sweater can it just be warm weather already don't get me wrong i do like wearing sweaters and stuff but i do think i'm gonna fix something to eat because i didn't eat before i went just because i wasn't hungry that early in the morning um but i think i'm gonna fix something to eat and then I'm gonna sit down and read because according to my audiobook, I have four hours and 52 minutes left. Really? I'm enjoying this book, but I feel like there might have been a disconnect with the audiobook because I am not feeling any particular way toward the main characters. And again, in case you didn't know, I'm reading The Serpent and the Wings of Night, which is the Go Read a Damn Book book club book for March. I don't know if it's the audio version or something, but I'm I'm feeling a disconnect with the characters and I don't really care about them. Like the story's good, but I just don't care about the characters. So I feel like I missed something. And maybe it's because I've done both audio and Kindle that I missed something. I like the book, don't get me wrong. I just, I'm not connecting with the characters. But I'm gonna try and read more. So uh, I actually went on ahead and put these nails on. I think they're really cute. I like them. It's been a while since I've worn like press on nails or anything like that. So it's a little something to get used to, but I do love the look of longer nails on me. And yes, these are long to me, but I like how they look. They're very cute. They're a little bit more like see-through, especially on, on these three nails than I would normally like. And I can't really trim them down too much, especially this pinky one, because then it would lose the color at the tip. But I don't know, I think they're kind of cute. I like them a lot. And this one has like a little gem or whatever on it. I'm sure that'll get caught on something, but 
I like how they look. So I was just about to lay down on the sofa and I could not find Spock. Sir, did you put yourself under the blanket? Did you put yourself under the blanket? You are so precious. I could not find him and then all of a sudden his head just popped up. Sir, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're like blending in with the blanket. Hi. It's so hard to see you, but you're very handsome. I love you. Come on. Hi. <laughs> you're very handsome too, baby. Hi. Boy. Boy. Well, hello. It is Thursday, March 28th. Eighth, and I think I have been filming this vlog now for a week. I think I started this vlog last Thursday. So this is definitely gonna be a week in my life vlog. I was planning to stream this morning. I decided not to because in like an hour or so, Luke and I are gonna be doing a house walkthrough, which is very exciting to be back in the house hunting journey even though it's kind of stressful. Oh God, my nose is itching. I changed my septum jewelry. So it's a segment ring that's that hugs the nose. I used to wear this one all the time. And then I went to one that hung a little bit. And I think I see why I changed it now because with this one so close to my nose, it ends up making my nose run. I don't know why, but every time I like mess with it, it feels like my nose is running. Decided not to stream today. So we'll get back on schedule with that next week. And instead, Luke and I went to the gym this morning, was able to fill up on gas because I'd need that for today for the house walkthrough as well as we're gonna do date night. I think we're gonna go to the mall after the walkthrough before dinner because I ordered something from American Eagle that I wanna go pick up. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because then I'm gonna have like an extra day even though it's still Thursday. I'm gonna have an extra day for YouTube members, like a YouTube members only video. So if you wanna see the extra video, which will include snippets of the walkthrough, going to American Eagle, dinner, and then getting ready for class tomorrow. That will be for YouTube members. But I also ended up putting nails on last night, even though I said I wasn't going to. But they're pretty cute, I like them. Except for I don't like this glue that I have because the nails pop off easily with it. Also I put on lip liner and it makes me look like I got my lips done. I did not, but I kind of like it. Kind of like how it looks, but. But yeah, so this vlog I think might be long. I don't know. Watch it be short, even though it's a week long. Watch it be short. But I am gonna go ahead and end it here, I think. Again, a very chatty vlog. Maybe one of these days I'll make it out of the house and feel confident recording in public again. For now, you get to have chatty vlogs with me. That is it for this vlog. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to go down and hit that subscribe button so YouTube will let you know when I upload next. There goes Chester opening the door because anytime I shut it in my office, he suddenly is like, I wanna leave. But until next time, bye lovelies. Mm -hmm.